Welcome! In this video, we will review series and parallel characteristics, compare circuit diagrams, simulate current flow in each setup, and discuss simple techniques to find the total resistance, RT. A series circuit looks like a train. Each component is connected end to end. The same current travels through each component. A parallel circuit looks like a ladder. Each component shares both ends. The same voltage drops across each component. Here is a series circuit diagram. R1 is in series with R2, and together they are attached to a voltage source. In the second diagram, four resistors are in series. Here is a circuit diagram for a parallel circuit. Notice that R1 and R2 share both ends of their components, and together they are in parallel with the battery. In the diagram on the right, a third resistor has been placed in parallel. Let's compare the series and parallel circuit diagrams. On the left we have a series circuit, two resistors are connected like a train. In the parallel circuit, on the right, R1 and R2 are connected like a ladder. We can simulate the current flowing through a series circuit. In the diagram on the left, the switch closes and allows the current to flow from the battery through each 100 ohm resistor and return to the battery. In the diagram on the right, a single 200 ohm resistor allows the same current to flow. This is called an equivalent resistance. We can simulate the current flowing through a parallel circuit. In the diagram on the left, the switch closes and current flows from the battery, separates into two slower paths, and recombines again when it returns to the battery. In the diagram on the right, a single 50 ohm resistor allows the same total current to flow. Series parallel circuits involve circuits that have a resistor in parallel with a series branch, or a resistor in series with a parallel setup. In this resistor network, can you recognize which resistors are in series and which resistors are in parallel? I'll give you a hint. Start with R2 and R3.